many people venture down here on days like this, which is why most beach lovers never get to see this. It's storm water, and as you can see, it's flowing straight out there. Doesn't look too bad, but looks can be deceiving. Right around the country, people like James Elks of Beachwatch are keeping track of what's going on in the water. G'day James. Ruben. So you collect your water samples right between the flags? Yes, we try and collect the sample where the most people are going to be swimming. Ah, OK. And so what's in the storm water? A bit of everything, really. It can have human faeces, animal faeces. It takes all in its path, so everything on the street. So what's the test for? What we're looking for are microbes that get in, like pathogens, viruses, that kind of thing that can make you sick. At various points in the system, solids and other bigger things are collected, but the microbes still get through, and that's what the test is for. The sample is taken to a lab and tested for levels of enterococci, a bacteria found in the gut of both humans and animals. The presence of enterococci in the water indicates that we have faecal contamination and that could indicate that there may be pathogens in the water. The sorts of pathogens we'd expect to see are Salmonella, Shigella, Hepatitis A and E, parasites such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium. The sample of beach water is filtered through a membrane and then placed on an agar that selects for enterococci. It's then incubated for 48 hours. And then we look for red or maroon colonies growing on the surface of the membrane. So, Tina, what have we got here? OK, well, we've got three examples of different conditions. So the first one here is no rain. Nice and clear. Nice and clear. The second one is um, one of the ocean beaches after a couple of days of rain. So we've got about 60 enterococci there. So those little colonies there came out of something's bum, like in the last three days. That's right, yeah. Amazing. And what's the last example? And the last example is a harbour beach after a couple oh. of days of rain. Right, so there's a lot on there. You can really see the difference. That's a lot of storm water? That's right, yeah. OK, no swimming in that stuff. No. The test takes about two days. So the general rule of thumb, we say don't swim for at least 24 hours after heavy rain at ocean beaches and up to three or four days at harbour beaches. But this can vary depending on the size of the beach, how open it is to the ocean and the tides and the amount of flushing that it gets. So take the advice. Get to know how your beach works and then get back in that water. <laughs>